Hey YouTube, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. In this video, we're gonna learn how to center not only div, but literally any element, both horizontally as well as vertically using CSS in, I believe, seven different ways. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the very first one, um, which is going to be uh, quite old uh, and it's going to use display table uh, property. So within this video, basically, I will be going through the eldest and let's say the worst uh, idea how to do it to the newest one and uh, the one you should uh, probably use. Uh, but I wanted to, to give you the whole overview because they are all working and it might happen that you need to and may need to use uh, some other options um, to center your content. So what we have here, we have our body with uh, just a border, so we could see how it looks like. So this is a this is a body. We have some div here. Uh, we're gonna give some class to it, and then we have image inside, which we would like to center. So one of the options is to set our display to table. And that's gonna change our body size. You can see already. Um, by the way, this is always the convention. So the body is a parent and this div um, is a child, right? We could have another div here and call it parent and child, but I will be using this body uh, as it works uh, pretty much the same. Um, so we have our parent, which we are setting to a table. And now what we want to do, we want to uh, create some class here. So let's call it table centered. So this is gonna be centered via table and let's add this table centered. And we're going to set display to table cell. Once we do that, what we can do, we can do vertical align in a middle. Okay. And obviously, I have a typo here, align. And obviously, mm, we need to we need to add height to this one because now the parent is quite small. So if we put it to 100 vh, we can see that we've got this um, vertical align in the middle. Uh, well, we could also do with 100 percent. And for the horizontal, we could just do text align center, and this will center everything exactly in the middle of our screen. Okay, since we talk about text online, let's move to another uh, example. Uh, so uh, let me copy this one. Let's create new file here and let's call it text align HTML. Let me copy paste this one. Uh, let's get rid of all classes. And let's change it to text align centered. Okay, let's open this in live server. So again, we have our starting point, which is the uh, same as we had uh, before. So this one we already covered in a previous um, example. So if you want to center our content horizontally, we just need to use text align, uh, text align property. Why I want to give a specific attention to this one um, is because this text align, it the center affects uh, pure text nodes as well as a child element. So uh, all the child elements under under the parent um, that have display inline or display inline block, which is important. And by the way, there is one uh, important difference uh, when it comes to margins, uh, which we're going to use in the next example, that we don't have to specify width, uh, right? So we don't have to specify a width uh, for, 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 for a parent, uh, which is the case um, in our next uh, example, which is going to be um, margin. So let's, let's have, let's use this one. So again, let's remove this one and let's call it margin centered okay and let's open this again now let's um, add some border solid red one pixel so we could see how our div looks like and now um, one one of the way uh, to uh, to use uh, margins is to set margin left to auto as well as margin right 
to auto as well. Now, as you can see, it doesn't work. And the reason behind it is um, because we didn't set width, as we mentioned before. So if you want to use margin auto, you have to specify a width of the, of the element which you want to center. Yeah, otherwise, it won't be able to calculate this one. So this is a kind of disadvantage um, and the difference between using margin and text align. Now, um, what is important here is that both left and right has to be set to auto. Uh, we can do it in a nicer way and um, you're going to see that very often. So you can say margin zero, which is going to set our top and bottom margin to zero and then auto to the left and right. And this is going to give you exactly the same uh, result. But what is important here is to, to remember that if you want to use margins, you have to remember to set a width. Uh, so this is a very common mistake and you're going to see uh, it very, very often and you can find it very frustrating when this doesn't work yeah, for you um, and you think that margin doesn't work uh, while well, actually the reason is this, you don't have a width on the element. Now the other disadvantage of this one um, is that same uh, like with the text align, we can only uh, center, we can only adjust, uh, we can position this um, horizontally, right? So there is no way, even if we set it to auto, auto on the top and the bottom, and we're going to add height 600, it's not going to position vertically our div, uh, which is a huge disadvantage. So now let's move to the fourth option, how we can center actually both horizontally as well as vertically. So quickly, to let me to remind you, we used table to to do vertical alignment. So we were able to do it with uh, with the table in both. Uh, actually, with the vertical align, this is the vertical one with the t display table cell, text align and margin are working horizontally. And now we will move to the next one, which will work in the both directions. Mm, so let's create a new file and let's call it transform html and then again let me quickly copy this let's get rid of this one that one that one as well and then let's change this to transform and let's open this in the live server okay so we have a starting point same as previously and now what we're gonna use we're gonna use uh, position absolute so uh, we're going to set our position absolute top to 50%. So 50% from the top and left 50% as well. This is going to position um, our div somewhere in the middle, but you can clearly see that this is not perfectly in the center. And the reason is because um, our top left corner is getting positioned exactly in the middle here and here. And Starting from there, it's drawing the entire div, so that's why our div is shifted. So in order to fix it, we're going to use transform. And what we're going to do, we're going to translate and do minus 50% in one axis, which is x axis, and the same for uh, y axis. And now it's going to place our uh, div exactly in the middle. And now, no matter what, it will gonna always be on the middle, even we, if we add something here, uh, let's say h1, some content, this doesn't gonna affect our uh, our center. So you also need to keep this in mind, right? That setting position to absolute uh, works, but it's also tricky. You need to always uh, remember that setting this position absolute uh, to its parent. Um, and in our, our case, it's, it's body. Um, so if you want to uh, set something in the middle, but at the same time, you want um, to make sure that if you add some content over here, somewhere around, it will also affect the position of your centered element, then we need to use something else. Um, and we're gonna move it to this right now. And something else is gonna is called flex. So uh, let me let me copy this one. Let me paste and let revert to original. Open with live server. And now if we want to use flex, then we're gonna flex centered and we're gonna do we're gonna set our display to flex. Now 
using flex it's very 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 easy to set uh, everything in the middle we just need to justify content center which we're gonna which gonna justify our content uh, horizontally and align items the center as well and now since we want our logo to be centered um, we need to add some height to our div what is important here is that this um, this applies to the children of uh, of our uh, div so this is the div and this align items uh, applies to our image itself but not to the entire um, entire div and if you want to see the difference so uh, how to apply or which uh, css property apply to the element itself to get it center let's have a look at another example so let's call it align self okay and let's copy this one let's clear everything and let's open this in a live server so this is our starting point so now um for the align self what we're gonna do we're gonna again set it to display flags height 100 vh so we're gonna give it a width now our image is taking the full width um, but uh, let's do the following so we're gonna use align self and set it to center and as you can see this aligned our item vertically uh, so this is the difference right in in the previous one um, where here we had this aligns item which uh, which you use on the parent so what you could do let's get back to this example we could get this and move it here and set the display to flags so as you can see now this is a parent this is a child so this align items center um, is applicable to our div which becomes a child right now while in align self we are applying this align self um, to the element which we want to uh, which we want to align right so i hope it's clear for you right align self will align will affect the element itself while the align items is aligning um, is affecting children um, okay now let's uh, let's uh, move to another example um, where we're gonna use grid so um, let's copy this and let's clear everything okay let's open this in live server we have so many tabs here okay I should actually adjust the uh, titles uh, I'm gonna adjust the titles here uh, to make sure uh, that um, that's going to be handy for you you can download um, the source code for um, these examples uh, in the description down below so i'm gonna i'm gonna fix it by the end of this video uh, so you could uh, have it somewhere nearby uh, whenever you want to use uh, or just remind yourself how to center anything in css okay grid so uh, flex change to grid and now how to use how to use uh, grid centered so obviously instead of flex we're gonna use grid and uh, what we're we gonna do we can actually use the same uh, properties so we're gonna set align items center and for that uh, we need to uh, add some height so we could see right result that again align items is um, applicable to uh, to our children so to, in our case to our image and then uh, again justify content center now instead of align items we could also do place items so the difference is that place items um, this allows us to align items along both the block uh, and the inline direction at once so um, what we can do we can instead of uh, justify content we could just say place item center or we could do center start for example which will 
which will work on um, both directions, right? So we can we can apply both using just uh, the single property, and then obviously this this affects child's here. Now, what is also important here uh, when you use mm, when you use uh, greet or flags is that if you have multiple items they will be all nicely uh, nicely centered um, now obviously depending on uh, on um, direction which you have column or rows but if we get back to our flex and move this one back here so we can see that Mm, it's nicely aligning all the items next to each other so it's working with the multiple uh, children uh, okay and finally i wanted to show you the last um, option which you uh, also can see uh, this is a combination of grid and margin so uh, yeah i just wanted to show you this one um, it's not that popular but uh, you can you can you can still find this uh, somewhere so I don't want you to be surprised. So let's open this with the live server, the last one. And um, let's do the following. So we're going to set a display to grid. And we're going to use image and set margin to auto. OK. And let's set height to 100 VH. So now, as you can see, our margin auto works um, in both directions uh, since we are using grid. So as you might remember, the previous margin auto uh, wasn't working mm, in vertically. It was aligning items just horizontally. But when you use it in combination with grid, it works perfectly in all directions. OK, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in comments down below um, whether you knew all these ways uh, or maybe there are some others which I didn't mention in the video uh, which are also worth mentioning. Don't forget to subscribe our channel as we are having more videos like this every week and smash the like button if you enjoyed this. Uh, this will help us to grow. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to post them down below or in our facebook group you're gonna find the link in the description down below so thank you very much for watching guys and see you in the next video